I'm in one of those parts of Seoul. It's got all these little shops here, and I found this place. Pretty cool. They they sell garments. They sell a bunch of stuff in there, you know. <laughs> kind of. I walked in. It's got all this this hiking stuff, and I almost creamed my shorts. But uh, um, unfortunately, unfortunately, if you don't buy a Garmin in Korea you do not get a Korea map you can they, there's no way to put it that's what they say there's no way to get a Korea map map of Korea and put it on your Garmin and she got on the phone for me and confirmed that so my Garmin is not completely useless in Korea, but it's almost completely useless. Which is a shame. <laughs> it was expensive. Oh well. That's another reason to get the hell out of this country. Here's a walking path follows the creek that uh, 16 years ago was all covered up. You couldn't see this creek as I've said in other videos. But um, there's a cache that way, uh, half a click, but I'm, I'm going to stay on here. There's one kind of on this uh, about uh, 700 meters down. Can you picture 700 meters in your head? Can you picture? seven football fields laid end-to-end. -end. Now try to do that with tenths of miles. Yeah. Metric owns you. This is Dongdaemun, which means a big eastern gate. And uh, they're doing some work apparently. I don't know, I don't know why that's there. Um, I got here, I'm looking for a cache here. It was the closest cache. Um, I looked at the hint. The hint is capital N-I-C-E, and they're separated. There's the, the letters are separated. Down low. So I'm, I'm working on that. It was pretty easy to find. So the micro, I had trouble. You have to wind it really, really tight to get it back in a little micro container, and I couldn't make it fit, and I was, oh my God, my fingers are too fat. So I was using my fingernails, holding it, yanking it, pulling it tight, so I could get it back in the container. All right, what to do now? I'm not hungry, but I probably should have something. I get that way sometimes, where I'm, I'm not, I don't feel hungry, but then all of a sudden, bang, it hits me, and I, will, I almost pass out. So, there's a kimbap nara, is that right? No. Kimbap. They're all, they're all the same. I don't know why they have different names. Kimbap Sarang, Kimbap Love, and then there's Kimbap Heaven, and Kimbap Country. And they all have the same style. Every, I mean, their shops are the same. Uh, years ago, years ago when I first uh, met Simon and he introduced me to rugby, I wanted to get a rugby ball. And the only place to get one was here in Tongtaemun. And uh, I found a, a rugby ball from Japan, of course. Uh, rugby is much more popular in Japan. But um, it was fun. I kicked it around a little bit with Simon and one other guy I used to kick a rugby ball around with. But um, I, have, I shipped them both. I had two. One that was signed by the um, 
the USA national team, when I was in uh, Japan once, I saw them play, and all the team members of the USA Eagles signed it. That's, uh, that's wrapped up and sent back to America. And my other rugby ball I sent back to America too. But this is kind of like, um, like the sporting section of Seoul. You find a lot of sporting things here in this, this part of Seoul, Dongdae Moon area. Okay, I'm gonna, I didn't want to eat at uh, that place, it was too crowded. So, um, I don't know where I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try to head downtown if I can. Um, Dongdae Moon is a shopping destination, but not for foreigners, because, well, nothing's marked. Like, I cannot find subway station. There is a subway station around here, but nothing is marked. Nothing's marked. Even in their own language, there's nothing marked, but I know there is a subway station around here. So, I mean, it's a... Uh, if you want foreigners to come to your shopping district, things have to be marked. Nobody likes to feel lost. So, I feel lost. But I, I know, I'm not lost, I know where I am, but I feel lost. Very, very common in Korea, they don't care about the, uh, the uh, pedestrian footpath. They don't care about pedestrians at all. And yet, <laughs> you'll see that. That's just for show. The police in Korea do nothing. People will drive however they want to drive. And as long as uh, they can be very dangerous. Like these guys. These guys on the bikes, they are very dangerous, very dangerous. Um, but the cops will only get involved if there's an actual crash. They won't try to keep people to dr driving safely. They just wait until there's a, an accident or something and then they get involved. It's, it's like they don't really have a police force here, they just have like uniform guys who fill out reports they don't do any like policing real policing so it's kind of it's a very dangerous city the cash i found is right there how come i didn't see this this subway entrance Ay, yay, yay, yay. I'm in Itaewon right now, and there used to be kind of a mix of uh, old-fashioned stores and new stores, or um, or businesses that catered to kind of like soldiers, or you know, the lower end of the social scale, and also the higher end too. Uh, Itaewon is that kind of place, but I've noticed now that um, almost everything in Itaewon now is high-end. There used to be a Mexican place called Pancho's. It was one of my favorite places here because it, it was Mexican. And uh, it was never, it was never, un, never, ever unpleasant to go to Pancho's. And they used to be, they used to be down that way. Then they moved up here um, over my shoulder, down down here, this way. Now I see that Pancho's is gone, completely. I don't see it anywhere. So they've moved out, closed or something. Oasis Bar is there now. Yeah. Oh well.